What is going on, guys? My name is George, and welcome to episode number 10 of Career Mode with Napoli. Uh, our first game of this episode is going to be against AC Milan, a really tough match. And we haven't been doing gear in the season, as you, if you guys have, have been following, you guys know that it's been kind of a rough road. But uh, we are still here, you know, it's uh, I'm, I'm still having fun, even though like, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it, but I am. Uh, you know, it's just that this team is really good, but we don't seem to get the results we need. But it's okay, you know, it's just part of football. It's part of the game as well. So we just got to keep going on and just enjoy the uh, just playing. So we're playing against AC Milan. Uh, you know, they're in the top five in the in the Serie A. So obviously it was going to be a really hard match. One of the best teams in the Serie A. And, you know, in Europe as well, you know, just a really great team. Uh, and so, you know, in the first moments of the game, it was, uh, like I said, it was really tough to get through the, through the AC Milan defense, uh, really get it in the back, and the game was just really tight and nothing for both of us, 0-0. Zero, zero. Just not a really, uh, not 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 a really, uh, what can you say, uh, like an exciting game, you know. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, we didn't have any chances. But in the 50th minute, it's gonna be AC Milan with Emmanuel Emmanuel soon. Huh? I said that kind of weird, but Emmanuel soon. Uh, he gets the goal right there, but we are fortunate to get the equalizer a few seconds later with Alexis Sanchez, who I don't know if this was his first goal of uh, for us. I, I don't think so. I think he already scored before, but it was a really good goal right there. The reason why the header kind of went, kind of got, you know how you know how it chipped a little bit, like he kind of chipped it with his head, I guess. Uh, it's because I when I get when I panic I call it my pa the panic button you know the chip the LB for Xbox um, so you know that's why it went like that I, I use that button a lot when I when I just panic and try to shoot and sometimes it doesn't work out and you know sometimes it's just bad to do that AC Milan is gonna get a goal right there to make it a 2-1 game very unfortunate to get scored on like that but they had they were just really good at drilling inside of the box inside of my box. And so, yeah, the game is going to end and we're going to lose this one. I wasn't honestly expecting to win this game, but I did. Uh, I did think I was going to be able to get at least a draw. But it's a 2-1. We lose this match, but I don't think I played that bad. And so, you know, I'm, I wasn't that worried. You know, right now, as you know, the situation with you know what's going on with the club and stuff like that. You know, I'm not too worried, any, uh, worried anymore. So... Uh, I was looking a little bit at my stats right there as a manager, and I am not doing that good, but I still have more wins than losses. 14 wins, 11 uh, losses, and 7 draws. Uh, I have too many draws as well, so I have to change that and start winning games. We're coming up in this game against Atalanta, and this team was obviously a uh, very low uh, table team. I don't know what their position is in the Serie A, but I'm guessing it's very low. And we're going to get the first goal with Alexis Sanchez, who's going to strike again for his second goal. Uh, or, yeah, his second goal in a row uh, from, you know, in this match. The last match he scored, so now he scores another goal in this match. And that is good that Alexis Sanchez is scoring because we bought him for, uh, I didn't tell you guys for how much money, but it was more than 20 mil. So, yes, you know, we bought him for a lot of money, and he has to perform, and he's been doing pretty good until you know uh, when he came to the club till now so Zuniga is gonna get the second goal with a pass by Alexis Sanchez right there is involved again in the play and just a really good low cross to Zuniga who is gonna score his goal right there and at the end of the first half uh, Atalanta with Bonaventura is gonna be able to get that goal which was very very unlucky for us because the, the match the first half was almost over but uh, we were not able to get that 2-0 to have time um, two to one though, but we're still controlling the game, and it's basically you know we're the better team. And then Zuniga is in a strike again with that beautiful dip and shot from outside of the box. What a goal that was! Really nice, and I wasn't expecting that to go in, especially because the you know it didn't have too much power. Uh, it, well, I thought it didn't have too much power, but apparently the goalkeeper wasn't able to reach to get that, and we get this uh, third goal. And to top it off and to finish it off, it's Jose Callejon, who I brought in the match to put him as a center attacking mid, and he performed really good, so I might put him in that position again later on, and he did really well. So four to one. And at the very end of the match, we get unfortunate here to get scored on. It didn't matter, but 
Kind of a funny goal right there. The ball hitting Reyna and then going in. 4-2. to two. And, yeah, that was going to be the end of this match. But we take a win. And, you know, every time we win, it's just, you know, we can breathe a little bit more. And you just, you know, uh, we need more points. I mean, we can still actually get into the top five of uh, – well, mathematically, we could still be in the top, you know, in the first place, obviously. But, you know, realistically, we could still get in the top five. And so, you know, that's something to go for. And we are still in the Copa Nacional. And so, uh, yeah, we still got a few things to look forward. The season's not over. We're not done. And we just have to keep working harder. So we're playing now against Hanoa. And I wanted to change the team. Practically, you know, almost all the players I wanted to just put all um, – all the reserves and the bench into this uh, game. And Hanoa, a little bit better than Atalanta, but still, uh, I didn't care about it. switching off my main players. I wanted to give uh, time to all of these players that usually, uh, well, a lot of the time don't get don't get too many game time. So, yeah, I want to keep everybody kind of happy, I guess. You know, it's part of a career mode of trying to keep all the players happy. Uh, then if you don't, then there's like all these problems with like they want they want to leave the club and stuff like that. So it's important to do that to give game time to all these players. Insigne in this match was a starter, and he is gonna miss this one right there. Even though he has a four-star weak foot, he wasn't able to curl that shot around the goalkeeper. It was uh, just a really bad miss right there. Callejon, again, I put him in that camp position, and I think he he's performing really good, a little bit better than in, than in his normal position, which is right mid. Uh, Insigne is going to get away from the player right here Then takes this shot And it's another type of dipping shot right there One of the good things Or one of the few things that I actually like about FIFA 14 Is that uh, the new thing where like more of the shots uh, dip And that just looks really cool Insigne, he's going to score that goal right there He's a really small player And he was getting fouled on, fouled on But I was able to get away from the defender And take that shot and he just finished it really, really good. Hanoa didn't have too many chances. They only had, you know, this one in this match. And, uh, yeah, but that was going to be it for this match. Not a lot of things happened, guys. Only one goal. And, you know, not, not a lot of few, uh, chances for me and for Hanoa. 1-0, though. We win this match. Two wins in this episode. Only one loss to AC Milan. So not a bad one and so now i just wanted to look at the table i wanted to talk about us being a mid-table club i mean it's just the truth i mean i really it's kind of weird being in mid-table i'm usually not in this position when i play career mode uh, but yeah um this time we are look at that we're in seventh place with 41 points and like i said we are not far away from that fifth position which lazio holds we're only seven points away, so that is not bad at all. Look at Sazulo, the last pl the last team uh, in the Serie A with ten points, only one win. I mean, that is. If I had that, I would seriously just quit career mode if I was in that position. But uh, fortunately, we're not horrible. We're in seventh place, and in the Copa Nazionale, of course, we got one more game to go against AC Milan. And uh, we just have to hold at least a draw or win the match. And we go on to the final and try to win the Data Cup, which would be awesome. But that's going to be the end of this episode number 10. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Here we're looking at some of the uh, uh, teams that are going to play in the next episodes. And don't forget to check, check out my gaming channel that I just uh, made. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video, guys. I am out and later. Gliari with 21 points.